Hey guys, this is Steven at Sea Performance. Thank you for checking out this video. First of all, I want to give a shout out to my friend Mike, who sent me a box of these awesome t-shirts. And this build is for a friend named Ray, and he owns a company called Kootenai Motors in Nelson, British Columbia. And he's building himself a little kit car that he got um, sent up from the US from Factory 5. And we were um, asked to build an engine for it. So this is a small block Ford. We started with a factory Ford block and we've stroked it 3.4 inch to make it a 347. It has 5.4 inch long connecting rods. It's a very common size that we everybody uses, the block, the, the crank, um, the pistons. Making that 347, this one has 10.6 to 1 compression. We achieved that with a two valve relief piston from Molly. And the nice thing about these pistons is they're great for the street. It's a 4032 alloy. And what they've done is they've moved the wrist pin out of the oil ring, which is kind of uncommon for the 347. Usually the oil ring is going right through the wrist pin, but we kind of like, if we can, to move that away. So they put a metric ring pack in it, nice and tight. Uh, it's 1.1 inch compression height, but it does have no oil oil ring rail required because it is land, the land goes all the way around it. And on the front of this, we um, got this kit from our friend Ben at Concept One. It's a beautiful set and nothing weird about shims or grinding parts to make it fit. Everything bolts on beautifully. The belt lines up perfectly. They make these systems for small block Chevys, Fords, and the LS motors. So check out uh, c1pulleys.com and you can find something maybe for a build you guys are doing. On the top here, we're using a Brawler 750 and we've got an MSD billet distributor. We set it up with these MSD wires that come extra long. We custom fit them to make it look all pretty. On the inside of this motor, with the hydraulic roller cam, we're using factory style lifters from um, Elgin. And the rocker arms are a 1.6 ratio. The heads are a 185cc AFR CNC ported head. We've taken quite a bit of time to port match the manifold really well to it. The outer block intake is a beautiful manifold, works good just the way it is, but the ports as they enter the head, they're a little narrow, a little short, and that's so that you can port match into whatever cylinder head that you've got. So we spent quite a bit of time laying out the gaskets, finding exactly where the port should be. Quite often there's a bit of shift forward or back, up or down. So we've port matched the manifold to match exactly to the head. We haven't altered the heads at all. We just make the manifold fit the heads. And um, with that kind of detail, we found over time that the little bits always help. So this engine made 512 horsepower, which was quite a bit more than the customer was expecting or was asking for out of a mild cam build, something that's going to run on 92 octane. Uh, it'll be good vacuum, it'll have nice idle characteristics, but with um, the details that went into this, we're really, really happy with the results. So, 445 foot-pounds of torque at 5,300 RPM and 512 horsepower at 6,200 RPM. So the hydraulic roller cam that we have in this, the duration at 50, intake is 224 and the exhaust is 230. The valve lift and the intake is 0.571 and on the exhaust is 0.568. The lobe separation angle is on 114 degrees. So we've done that because we like lots of vacuum, it makes great torque, and um, just the way it runs is proof that it, it's a good combination for this cylinder head and for the vehicle it's going into. Okay. So thanks so much for uh, checking out the video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Shout out again to Mike. Thank you very much for the shirt, for all the shirts. Everybody loves them. And uh, we hope someday to actually come to that cruise. Maybe someday we'll have to make our way all the way out to Detroit to check it out. So thank you for subscribing. Thank you for comments. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me a message. And I'll be happy to respond to those questions as soon as possible. Thanks again. You know that this engine made almost exactly the same horsepower and torque as our 329?
<laughs> well, that's a good one. 